Hey guys, it's Cheryl Sios, and today I'm going to be transforming this cool thing that I found at Home Goods for one dollar. So as you can see right now, this is a big mess area because I'm working on just fixing up some things um, for my barn. Yeah, it's kind of crazy right now. <laughs> okay, so this is it. It's basically this happy spring like little house thing that I found at Home Goods for literally one dollar, and I was like wow, I could really do something cool with this. So I was like, yeah, I'll get it. And it's only a dollar. So I mean, what I'm planning on doing is obviously taking off the happy spring, whatever. I might just, I already tried starting doing this, just um, sanding off this part here and then like adding this, like adding shelving and stuff. So this will be, I think like a little hang up area where you can hang up like, halters and lead ropes and stuff like that and maybe just like shelving and things so the first thing that i'm doing is i had a piece of sandpaper and i'm just kind of rubbing off all of the paint and stuff so just kind of getting it off here so right now I'm just basically sending off all the paint and I wanted it to look pretty natural so I kind of went a little bit above where I saw the paint to be just so it looked like it would blend in and it wasn't just like randomly scratched up in some places. I also wanted to mention I'm not necessarily sure where you can find something like this. I think if you just scour around um, in craft stores you can find or just home goods stores in general you can find some pretty cool stuff that you can recycle. So now I'm starting to make the first um, bridal hook. So what I did was cut up a dowel in equal size pieces and just adjust and glue that on to a single stick. And I also made a small saddle rack, which I did by cutting a dowel in half and then just gluing those to the house. So I decided I wanted to make a few other um, bridal and halter racks so I just wanted to make them the same size and for all of this I'm using wood glue. I'm using Gorilla wood glue although like the specific type of wood glue does not matter. I really recommend wood glue over using hot glue because it's a lot more um, sturdy and it's going to last a lot longer. So after making the different um, halter and bridal racks, I decided I wanted to make a shelf and I have these rectangular pieces uh, that I used and just glued in order to make a cute little shelf for different supplies and stuff like that. And I also used popsicle sticks in this um, for the different parts and the parts that are darker I stained using wood stain. Um, and that is just me finishing up the shelf right there and I didn't really know exactly what I was going to do. I wanted to make the design look a little bit more complete so I just added a few different rods in different areas. Um, and then I added some plastic shelves um, that I used from Playmobil. And right now I am just making some um, hooks for the doors for my other stalls. Alright guys, so I have these doors that I have for one of the barns in my um, in my stable. So I'm going to add these hooks onto the doors so that I can have like halters and stuff on them and hang them on the on the shelf. So I'm just going to be using some wood glue for this as well. And oh, I left it open as usual. I never, I feel like I always like things open on accident and I never mean to. Um, so, <laughs> whoops. So I'll just use a little bit of this wood glue and put this on the back of here. And I think I want them to be like up. A little higher just so that they have room to like hang and everything and then um here i was thinking of doing a shelf but like since they're sliding doors i feel like that probably wouldn't be such a great idea um because i think everything would just fall off of the shelf um when i'm like moving it and everything so 
probably not gonna do that, but. So I have it done on these two doors, but I wanna make it so it's like the same position. And then on this one too. And another thing I'm not sure if I'm gonna do or not is like add a little bar for a blanket or something that would like come up, I guess, and then come down. But I think that might be a little clunky, I'm not sure. I made this to hang like saddle pads and stuff off of. I'm not sure I really wanna put that on like the door though. And then I also have this for like the side of the barn as well for like halter hooks. Um, this is something that came in a like set that's like an extra and I think I'm going to make it into like some sort of sign or something. This is the final result of the little stand that I have made. So it has hooks for halters on this side and then some more hooks for like halters or bridles. Then it has this shelf for just stuff I guess. And then here it has um, rack for um, saddles and bridles. So, and then there's these shelves here for basically anything. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this came out. Guys, I added a bunch of tack and different supplies and I'm really happy with the result. So like I said, I'm not really sure where you can get this kind of house thing. I can try and find some websites for you guys, but basically if you scour around like home goods and just like home stores, then you'll probably be able to find something similar to this. If not, you could always build it yourself by just cutting a triangular piece of wood and then gluing it onto a bigger piece that is just rectangular. I also got some really lovely fan mail from I and um, L Tack Shop, Izzy and Lucky. Um, and I was super happy. She sent me a really beautiful blanket and a really beautiful halter and lead rope. So I do definitely recommend going and checking out their Etsy shop. And I was so, this was like my first fan mail, so it made me feel so happy. And Izzy and Lucky, their account is really beautiful. They make really nice tacks, so I suggest go checking them out. All right, Roses, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please check out my Etsy store where I sell customs, tack, accessories, everything and anything. And I also am still open for commissions. I am finishing up a few right now, and I'm going to be making a crafting video about that soon. Hopefully, we'll have our September barn tour coming out as soon as possible <laughs> as well as episode five which is like needs to come out like now <laughs> so i started school and it's been a little crazy but anyways thank you follow me on instagram as well i post there every single day and of course subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this if you have any video suggestions also leave those in the comments below thank you bye roses stay sweet Mwah.